Today in the Pedal Vault, the Black Cat Amps Gent Tonic. Black Cat Amps is a small Ukrainian company that specialized in making all kinds of distortion pedals. Right now, I think they only have this pedal in production. Maybe they have another one, but on the homepage, there is actually just this pedal. And this is the Gen Tonic. It's a distortion pedal. And it comes in this nice shiny metal housing with the nice black artwork it looks very clean i like it and i got the option without a lithium ion battery but you can get an option with an integrated battery and an actually an usb c port for charging it that's really cool however i don't use it therefore i didn't need it apart from that we have a full 3 band eq high, mid, low, we have a gain control, we have a level control, and we have a warmth button, whatever that is. So let's look at the EQ curve. Let's reduce the gain and increase the level. Okay, when we increase, okay. So it has lots of high frequencies. We have here, kind of gap and then go all the way down. When we increase gain, actually increases the lows and slightly reduces the highs. Okay, let's leave it here. Now high, seems to be a shelf. Oh, it's interacting with the low as well. That's a nice range. Looks like this would work as a preamp as well. And we have a mid control. That's for the highs as well, although it's more pronounced here. Maybe when we cutting. Seems to dip around 1.4K, 1.5K. And the low control. It's subtle. But we can cut a bit. Okay, now what does warmth do? Decreases the highs. Gives it more all around even look. Yeah, and also increases the mids at 800 hertz. Don't think it will change the way the 3 band EQ works. Nope. So mids seems to be centered around 1k, at least here. And low very subtle on the second half of its range. Okay, now let's find out how this thing actually sounds.
So for the lively part, I wanted to explore how the gen tonic behaves in front of a different clean amp or clean chain and if it might profit from a boost in front of it. Therefore my signal chain is my guitar into the Aris Effects Savage Drive, it's an older one, I don't know, version 2, into the gen tonic and this goes into my X Effects and I've basically chosen a random clean amp and uh, Jens Bogren IR. For the clean amp I chose the Citrus A30 clean. It's based on an orange clean amp. I've not touched any knobs so this is basically everything on noon stock settings and for the cap IR I used as mentioned a uh, Bogren IR. It's the yellow proc and this is basically the clean sound. <laughs> And as you can hear in humbucker mode it's more a driven sound and in single coil mode it's a clean sound. So first of all I'll dial in the gen tonic and then I might readjust the amp or I might not. Let's find out. <laughs>
Okay, that was fairly easy because I already think that the gen tonic sounds best when the EQ is on noon and that's always a good sign. With too much highs, didn't like it with this particular amp, although I fully cranked the mid. This is the mid. Yes, it's the mid. It's in the middle. It's of course in the mid. And I slightly reduced the lows. And I highly prefer it when warm warm warmth is actually activated. I think it just I think it's more compressed or had more gain. It sounds more modern and, and I like it more. Okay, now let's I already like this tone. I don't think it needs much more improvement, but let's find out if we can improve it anyways by adding the savage drive. It's already in my favorite setting uh, for byte and tight. Uh, volume is in full, dirt zero, I might add some dirt. <laughs> So it's a bit noisy, but I haven't engaged any noise gate, so that's okay. I haven't touched the amp yet, and I won't, because the sounds really cool. It lacks a bit of bass, I have even readjusted the bass here, but in the mix uh, this should be a problem because we have a bass. So the Savage Drive basically just added more gain to it made it tighter and uh, re reduced the bass so I could crank more here on the pedal. So I'm impressed. You know, first of all, I really like the idea of having a distortion pedal that you can put in front of any clean amp and basically it gives you a crushing metal sound. That's why I actually really like the Lichtlem Gehenna for instance or the Boss Metal Zone. But the metal zone only sounds good in front of the FX loop or FX return. And I actually prefer pedals that sound best when you put them uh, into the FX return because then you don't have to worry about whether your preamp sounds good or it just doesn't care. You just need a power amp and then you're good to go. So the Gen Tonic is a good try. I really really like the sound in front of a clean amp. I think it's one of the best pedals that I have for giving you a full crushing metal sound in front of a clean amp. And the three band EQ is very versatile. You can basically dial it in exactly as you want. I really like the warmth switch. I prefer it uh, pushed because then it's more compressed. And as a boost it does an okay job. However it's not my preferred way and I think there are better solutions out there. After or in the FX return I still need some kind of EQ afterwards because I don't think the treble or the high control as it's labeled uh, gives me this much high frequencies that I need. I would use a presence control and if the amp doesn't have one kind of screwed here. but for a clean amp, I just can repeat what I said, it's one of the best pedals out there. And the housing with the cat is nice. Uh, Black cat also nice because my guitars are from Black Cat. Uh, that's funny. And that's actually how I found out about them because Black Cat guitars 
uh, shared some link on Facebook for black cat amps. So yeah, I recommend this pedal if you're in need for a distortion pedal for your clean amp to make a one channel amp into a two channel amp and it even works in front of slightly driven amp. You can run a boost in front of it, you don't need to. The sound that you get is rather modern, but I don't think a modern sound is technically bad because you can always add other effects to get a more unique sound or a more old school approach. Yeah, so now I'm curious, do you know Black Cat amps? Uh, did you know them before this video? And if so, do you own a Gen Tonic or any other pedal from them? Write a comment down below in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, check out the links in the description. And with this said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the force be with you and have a nice day.